Oh, a cat? Oh, a cat? Chaos cards, for when you need to know the future, and the future can tell you that you don't need to know. Coming up next, we find out whether it's a null kind of week or not. Greetings friends, I'm this cat, and this is the Fortune Tellers Cat. And this season, I'm using an old friend. These are the Generation 1 Fortune Tellers Cat Chaos cards, uh, distinctive for the fact that Many things went wrong with the production values, uh, but they still predict and they do a job. So, whilst Cass has the Generation 2 cards, I've got the Gen 1s, the originals, the old school. For you, my friends, the audience, it is the week of March 13th, and it's time to see what we're up against. The energies we bring into the week are a notable outcome. Purple. Purple knows, but it may not always tell. This is the card that is about knowledge that can be hidden in plain sight. It's represented in terms of insights, but also humility. It's about bringing what we know, but perhaps also what we don't realize yet that we know that's useful. Within the week, it is notable outcome season, and it's the beginnings. Blue is the end of night and the time before the dawn. A colour of romantic interests that must be tempered lest they become obsession. So the closest thing the Chaos cards have to a relationship card is the blue card saying that if you've suddenly woken up and gone, ooh, hey, wait a minute, were they flirting with me? Check. But also, validate. And finally, the energies that we take out of the week this week is strong portent blue. Perhaps that friendships should be cross-checked and rechecked. Uh, the key for the strong portent is blue, again, colour of romantic interests, of romance, relationships, but also of frailty and ego. If we think we know more than we do, and we do know more than we thought, then that's a good sign. And that, for March 13, is our Chaos Cards takeaway. From that, to this. You're not Yorick. <sighs> You just can't get the skulls these days. You're watching The House of Cat. So, I'm this cat, and I'm on the road for the next big things. And I'm up here at the uh, Canberra Arboretum. It's got this artwork up here. It's wide brown land. Big, big metal, twisted metal, shaped metal set of work. But it's not listed as a big thing. And this is sort of opening up the philosophical question, what makes something a big thing? Is it that it's an upscale variant? In which case, I don't even want to know what we're dealing with here in terms of, that ain't 72, that ain't 1,000 dice from 12,000, I don't know. Big. Do you know how to calculate DPI from screenshots? It's big. But at the same time, up here at the uh, same location, like the view from here, you can see this thing that they call the big acorn. And it does beg the question, if that counts as a big thing, because, you know, it's visible from the other mountainside. This thing, this, this giant metal statue beside me should count as a big thing. Is it bigger than a big thing? So, I'm this cat. This is a philosophical question pondering, uh, standing up here on a hill in Canberra. What makes the next big thing? And from that to this. Paw versus Claw. Nudgy Service Center. Round two. The rules, 0 points for a miss, 1 point to touch, 2 points for a move, 3 points for a grab, 5 points for the prize. Place. Round 1 
round two. Round three. Round four. Round five. Round one. Oh, I kind of want to give that a bonus point. Okay. Round two. Round three. Round four. Victory Cass, one point for Team Cat. And that was The House of Cat, Season 2, Episode 2, in which our heroic cat, this one, and the even more heroic Cass, that one, wait, our even more heroic Cass, this one, and our even more heroic cat, that one, we went out and took on a claw machine at the Nudgy service station, and, well, I didn't do as well as I could have, but also, you can't stop the bard when they're on the natural 20 roll. And look at all those bonus points Cass walked away with this episode. That's some bardic inspiration, that is. 
Also, in this episode, uh, Kat passed a series of judgments on Canberra big things, but mostly questions of what truly defines the next big thing, for which hypothetical questions will have rhetorical answers. And also, as the House of Cat, we are doing what we do. And with that, I'm going to throw to the dentist upstairs and the credits. That was the House of Cat.